Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a wireless keyboard that is not working, but the mouse along with that wireless keyboard is working. So I'll be going over some common problems and easy fixes so that hopefully you can get your wireless keyboard working once again. So once again, just to clarify, if your wireless keyboard is not working, but the mouse that is connected to that keyboard is working, this is the video for you because I'll be going over the common problems and easy fixes. So let's get right into the video. So number one, the first thing that you should do is check the driver for the keyboard and the mouse, the wireless keyboard and the, and the wireless mouse. So go on your system settings on your computer and check the driver. You want to make sure that number one, there is a driver installed and number two, the driver is up to date. Okay. Also think, did you recently update your operating system? If you did, then that might be a cause for the driver not functioning properly properly again. So that's the first thing. It all has to do with the driver. Check that out. Number two, if that doesn't help you out, if number one doesn't help you out, then number two is to change the wireless keyboard batteries for fresh batteries, fresh quality batteries right out of the pack. Now, I know that maybe the batteries that are in there, you think that they work and they might work, but in reality, maybe they drained out. Okay. Maybe you didn't put quality batteries in. Maybe you just replaced them recently, but they weren't quality batteries. Maybe the batteries were already partially drained. You don't know that. So just literally get a fresh pack of batteries, take out the batteries and install them in the wireless keyboard. See if it works. If that doesn't help you, I'll move on to number three, which is to unplug and plug back in the wireless receiver or transmitter for the wireless keyboard. So your wireless mouse and your wireless keyboard generally are going to have one wireless receiver that is associated with both of those things if they're connected. And just unplug it from the computer and plug it back in. And also, <coughs> sorry about that, you can try it on a different port. So in addition to unplugging it and plugging it back in, you can try it on a different USB port and see if that helps you out, okay? Give it a try, see if that helps you out. That was number three. If that doesn't work, move on to number four, which is to turn the keyboard off and on. Now, most wireless keyboards have an off and on switch. This is maybe where your problem lies. Maybe your wireless keyboard is already off. So turn it off and on, um, and sometimes that'll give it a soft reset. You can also turn it off for like 30 seconds to a minute and then turn it back on and see if that helps you out. Give it a try and hopefully that will work. And sometimes you just gotta turn something off and on and it helps you out. If that doesn't work or help you out, move on to fix number five, which is to make sure that the keyboard is actually on. So you wanna look for any dirt, dust, debris, or grime or anything like that that is caught in the off and on switch. And when you turn it on, make sure you get a clicky feeling of it turning on. Make sure you visually see it turned, being turned on, being powered on. Make sure you can hear it clicking on uh, with regards to the switch or the lever. So, you know, make sure it's turned on. That is number five. And lastly, number six, if the first five didn't help you out, number six is to actually reboot the computer. So restart the computer, turn the computer off and on, and hopefully that will help you out because restarting the computer, well, you know, will fix many problems oftentimes. So just restart it and see if that helps you out. And that's truly it. If your wireless keyboard is not working, but your mouse is working, this is, uh, these are some common problems and easy fixes. Hopefully one of them works for you so that you can get your keyboard working again and you can type out all your favorite stuff. So that is truly it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.